Is there any area within construction, construction technology that you see there is a gap and there is opportunity opportunity to innovate? Um, there would be, as I mentioned before briefly, that the, on operational side, I think mm. there is there's still um, a lot of, I would say, probably manual input there, mm -hmm. which we could automate or create a, a, you know, a s solution to make people um, less sitting by the desk and more being on site doing mm -hmm. other things. Um, and also I mentioned the knowledge management. And probably the big thing as well we have, um, how are we trying to manage pro project when we sometimes don't know where people are, where the workforces are? Mm -hmm. I know it's a big thing. It's, it will take a long time to change our attitude towards it. But perhaps I've, I've looked into before, a few years ago, we tested a system where we track people on site. Mm -hmm. How did it work? Well, we had a test. As test in like you, you test when they walk? Like You test where you, you basically, they had an app. It was a few years ago and mm -hmm. you test where they're going and it's safety. Mm -hmm. You can use for productivity. Safety is an excuse to that. <laughs> you said it. I, I said it. I, I, I look at more. For me, it would be productivity. Yes. Uh, I would say, um, how can we control something where we don't know where, where they are, how many of them, and mm. how actually what they are doing it. And out of this, you also can see if you have problem with a site setup. Mm -hmm. For example, why someone is queuing for a um, hoist for 20 minutes or half an hour. Yeah. If they go to the toilet twice and uh, and 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 they go for lunch and for a cup of tea, they probably half of the day they'll be there queuing for the. <laughs> and by the time they do some work, they've probably done three hours of work every day. Yeah. yeah.